here. We got the Latino community, the Asian community, Somali community, Native community, white community, and black community here in Minnesota. So the dynamic is crazy. So like when you see somebody getting harassed by police, everybody's out, right? Everybody's doing it. So that's why George Floyd got justice the way he did because people were able to capture that feeling and say, oh my God, in heaven, this is murder. And if it, it, well, we've seen it, three counts. <laughs> You know what I mean? Right. This three is more to go? Three more to go. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. August. We'll be here. You know, we'll be here. We got the we got the one we really want. <laughs> the other two, you know, they were training. We know that. Oh yeah, there was a the other two that's there. Jay Alexander King and Thomas Lane. Two Tau? I want two Tau. Right? I want to get two Tau. And I want two Tau and I want Jay Alexander the King, other one, complicit, give them both a year. Um, take their license, I would say, or whatever. Right. And then maybe give them a chance to be able to be a cop again, but say, mate, to see how your first day went, your first couple days went. Let's not do that. Again. Okay. <laughs> so, all right, man, I appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, you as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, y'all. My name's Jonathan Mason. I'm here, obviously, for George Floyd, uh, just on the ground trying to run and keep on fighting for justice. Um, this is a historic moment for not only our country, but Minnesota as a whole, and we're here to just celebrate and, and, and soak in this moment. Uh, how does it make you feel? Um, euphoric. I have a euphoric feeling, and it just makes me realize that we've made the change that everybody's really been wanting to do, and I'm so proud of Minnesota. I'm proud of all of us that came together, and it, it might have not looked the best, and it wasn't perfect, but we did what we wanted to do, so I'm so thankful for that. Awesome. What does justice look like? Justice looks like what we just seen for Derek Chauvin. And, and, and you know, we know the state spent $25 million, taxpayer dollars, to protect a killer. And then for, unfortunately, or fortunately, we don't even have to use none of it because no one cares. Look, this is the reality of it. No one cares unless there is it or injustice has happened then. That's why you see what you see. So. And I think that is the harsh reality that we all know that's been true to be proven in America. And so now we're in a new spot. We're all trying to, you know, figure out, put our differences aside and figure, you know, we might not all agree on the same thing, right? But I think we should have the overall arching goal of trying to do what's right for all humans. You said you were involved in some other cases? Oh yeah, I, I, we've been fighting justice for Justine Demond, whether it was Philando Castillo, Jamar Clark, everybody. So this is a big one for us and we're just going to keep on fighting, okay?